This is the second of three informal techniques for assessing the validity of deductive arguments that we will review. The second technique consists simply of identifying the logical form of a deductive argument as a logical form that has previously been shown to be deductively valid. We will also review the closely related technique of showing that an argument is invalid by creating a logical analogy. Sometimes we can tell that a deductive argument is valid because it is an example of a common valid argument form. For example, suppose someone were to say, if the universe is God's creation, it is a perfect universe. The universe is not perfect, therefore the universe is not God's creation. The logical form of this argument is, if P, then Q, not Q, therefore not P. Philosophers have, for a long time, known that one can prove that this common argument form, which is called modus tollens, is deductively valid. So our original argument about the universe is valid. Keeping a list of common valid argument forms handy, such as the one posted on our website, can help you remember these traditional valid argument forms. You can then more easily identify these forms when you encounter them. Sometimes we can tell that an argument is invalid because of its logical form. When we notice this, we can create a logical analogy to show that the argument is invalid. A logical analogy is an argument that has the same logical form as the given argument, but uses different sentences. Suppose someone presented the following invalid argument. If God exists, the challenges we endure improve our character. The challenges we endure improve our character, therefore God exists. The logical form of this argument is, if P, then Q. Q, therefore P. This argument form, which commits the fallacy called affirming the consequent, is invalid. We can show that the original argument about the existence of God is invalid by simply using less controversial sentences for P and Q. For example, we might use, for P, the box is square, and for Q, the box has four sides. We can then say that the argument for the existence of God is logically analogous to the following argument. If the box is square, then it has four sides. The box has four sides, therefore the box is square. Suppose that the first premise is true. That is, suppose it's true that if the box is square, then it has four sides. And suppose that the second premise is true, that is, that the box has four sides. It can still be false that the box is a square, for example, if the box is a rectangle. Our reasoning about the box seems uncontroversially mistaken, yet it uses the same pattern of reasoning as the argument about the existence of God. So, we can conclude that the reasoning in the argument about the existence of God is mistaken. Both arguments are invalid arguments. Mm -hmm.